Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to all students and subscribers and uh, everybody else. Uh, chipmunks, aardvarks, thanks for, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just start with two circles, put them right next to each other. And watch this. This is so easy. Watch, you just draw a line, 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 and you just bring that line to about right there. Another line down and just kind of go whoop. So it's just kind of like a whoop. That's a whoop line. This is a broom route line. And then we're just going to do this. Put a line on top here. Just kind of connect it. I'm going to start with some kind of ear here. I think this is actually going to look like a dog of some kind. I hope. Oop. There we go. I'll just bring this line down, bring this line down, Boop. and there we go. I think we've got some kind of dog type creature thing. Yeah, let's make it a long neck. And maybe, watch this, we'll put on, try that again. Just kind of right here in this spot, just a, one more time. And here's the key. Line down. And there you go. <laughs> kind of a dog with one ear right now. So he's going to have another ear coming out on this side. This side will be out on front. This side you won't see that part. So I'll just go whoop. And there you go. He's kind of a cute little dog. Um, now um, you can put in some accent lines. Just kind of, you know, he's a little worried. Oh, I'm worried. I haven't had anything to eat in a while. And here, just his ear. Set his ear apart a little bit from the background. And you could put teeth in if you wanted. Uh, yeah, I think you need some teeth in there. Maybe we'll make a sharp one. Put the sharp teeth. Maybe a line there. Um, you know, you could do really just lines like that. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, just let's put them there. I kind of set it apart from the background. And maybe let's just do a swirl like that. Do a big one and a little one. I'll show you a little trick with that. If you do kind of a teardrop shape, and I like to just kind of put a little line, a curvy line in. There's fancier ways to do it, but when you're doing it quick, that's a good little quick way. And then try this. This is cool, too. Just draw one kind of half little circle behind it. That looks good sometimes. It didn't look good there though. Let's draw some smaller ones. Try this. There you go. That'll look better. And there's a little panting dog. <laughs> He's tired. Could put like dots here. Just kind of whiskers. And I like to take with their noses and put a little curly thing on and color the bottom dark. It makes it really stand out and look kind of dogish. And there you go. There's a quick little dog tutorial. Could actually, do you see how it could turn into other kind of creatures that aren't dogs or aliens? Um, it's kind of a fun one just to play around with that same kind of technique. Just, you know, change the shape of this nose and you'll get a different effect. Or the size of the eyes, make them smaller, make them bigger. You know, a long tongue or no tongue at all. Or um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in more, I got some really cool tutorials coming. So please subscribe. Thanks for joining. And... I'll see you soon.